Destination trailers have been taking the industry by storm. Behind me is a combination destination trailer, but it's also a travel trailer, so it is perfect for towing around the country. This is a 2024 Keystone Springdale, the model 34FK, with an amazing huge spaces layout. We're gonna be taking a look at all the features and we're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video again today. I am super excited to be taking a look at this really big, awesome looking Springdale with some really nice features on the inside. Before I begin, gotta say hi to Will. Hey Will! Hey guys! How's it going today? Oh my god, I'm so excited to take a look at this. This is a pretty big travel trailer. And um, so I'm really excited because like Matt said, it's gonna feel a little more homey in there or more destination travel trailer like because of how big it is. Uh, but still, you gotta watch your towing and all that with this, so. It's a big mamma jamma. Yeah? You gotta be down with your homies. That's right. Nice homie. You ready, Will? Yep. Model is Springdale 34FK. The actual tip, tip length of this travel trailer is 38 feet 11 inches. The dry weight is 8,420 pounds dry, and the hitch weight is 1,040 pounds. This is a heavy beast, Will. It is. We got 46 gallons of fresh water, 39 gallons of gray water, 39 gallons of black water. And again, this half destination trailer, half travel trailer. Power tongue jack up here. Propane tanks and batteries go here. Check out this siding. Check out the front, also front windshield. I love that. Got your diamond plate rock guard here. And because this is Keystone Will, it does come with a three year structural warranty. Okay. Now, when you come down the side, you're gonna see this aluminum corrugated siding. That means it's wood framing. Right. Okay. Right here. We do have an endless hot water heater. And then check out these jacks. I love that. Electric stabilizing jacks, fantastic. Now with that said, there is no front pass-through storage. Right. Because of these features. Right here is your potable water fill, potable. Potable. No slide outs on this side. With a huge power awning with LED lights on your camping side. There's and also a griddle uh, hookup right there as well. Very nice. Right here, we do got speakers for the outside. Okay. The very nice more ride step above steps. Nice big grab handle. And then look at these tires. Will their load stars? I love those. ST225 75R15. Very nice. Yep. You got a little peek on the inside, man. It's there real you go. nice and spacious. If you do want to have a TV for the outside, you got power and coax for the outside. Okay. I love these stabilizers. And then around the outside, well, we do got a very nice bumper with a stinky slinky. And the bumper um, does come with the spare tire, spare tire carrier. And we do have prep for the Lippert uh, collapsible ladder and prep for the Furion backup carrier. There you go. Very nice. Again, this is one that they do want you to tow. Yeah. Right here, we do have a 50 amp service. But again, you want to make sure you do have the right vehicle. Of course. Right here's where you dump your one of your te gray tanks. And then here is where you're dumping your black and gray tank. Okay. Right there we got city water connection, black tank flush, and another black tank. Uh, gray dump. tank. Yeah, gray tank. It says black tank there, Will, but we know that's a gray yeah, tank. Yeah, that's gonna be a gray tank. For sure. Or, I mean, I don't know. I don't know who's black. You're gonna need a lot of liquefy for that. All right. Tank, you know what I'm saying? Or that little piping. And then right here, well, we got an outdoor shower. Okay. Easy breezy, very simple looking on the outside, but that's because the insides look amazing. Come on, Will, let's go. Take a look. All right. Take a look, Will. Okay. All right, we will start in the back. You have this nice big bedroom here. Right next to that is the bathroom. And then in the front is the living area, dining area, and kitchen. Where are we starting today? You are starting with the kitchen area. Okay. And I don't have a belt on. Uh-oh. But ain't nothing nobody can do about it today, can they? Nope. 
Well, before Will starts with the kitchen, let's give a big shout out to the sponsor of today's episode. This episode is sponsored by RV Life Pro. RV Life Trip Wizards allows you to carefully plan your RV trip before you go. It will show you every campground along the route and let you plan important aspects of your trip like fuel, rest stops, break areas, and more. Know before you go with satellite views, street views, elevation, and grade charts. Then use the RV Life app to navigate your dream trip exactly the way you planned it. We are doing a free seven day trial and 25% off with promo code Matt's RV Reviews, no spaces. Thank you so much to RV Life for sponsoring us. Let's continue the video. Great, and we're back. Okay. Show us this awesome kitchen, Sir William. All right. You got plenty of storage up top here, all the way across. I love this front windshield here. Just really helps this kitchen feel more open and airy and everything. Good countertop space with power right there. Drawers right mm. here. Nice extension faucet for your big single bowl sink. Hang on a second. Okay. Sorry about that, Will. Good st oh, it's man. Good storage underneath. That's a nice looking piece of storage right there. Sure is. Back up top, got more storage here. And here in this corner. And that all connects through. Another little window, tons of countertop space. It's not solid surface countertops, of course, trying to keep that weight and price down. But you do have three drawers all the way down right here. There's the last one. And then back up top, you have a little graystone microwave right here. Wowie. And a little graystone range hood there. There you go. Very nice backsplash. It's just like a, a, a wallpaper type backsplash, but it still looks very nice. Three burner graystone cooktop with the blue lights and oven. A little more countertop space on the other side of the stove top with two drawers. Dang. And underneath is that central back. Yep. And, and another tiny bit of storage right there. Very nice. And then wrapping it up, nice big Everchill refrigerator and freezer right here. This is a compressor fridge, so it works off of uh, the battery and keeps it very cold very quick. Well, that's very nice, but you know what? What? There's a piece inside of me that says, I really just wish we had a little bit more storage Ooh, in like the kitchen Like a pantry area. or something? Like a partridge in a pantry. Struggle in there? There you go. The dumbest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Look at this awesome looking pantry, Will. It is awesome, yep. Awesome in a pantry. Here's the dumbest looking thing. How are you supposed yeah. to line that up? Dummies. Let me see. Whoever thought of that's a dummy. I'm calling them a dummy on YouTube. Whoever like, thought of that's yeah. a dummy that's never been camping in their life. Like just do maybe a little strap or something. Yeah. But yeah. Or or put the hook up here to that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Something like I that. get the concept of the hook yeah. up. But come on, Nail. How you supposed to do that? Ooh, that's about right. Perfect. And then over here, Will, we do have a very nice table and chairs. Okay. Look at this. Plenty of space. Yeah. On both floor. sides. And flush floor slide outs as well. Love that. Very nice. Good space dinette, you know. I'm not a huge fan of table and chairs, but it is nice for being table and chairs. Yeah. You got these nice big windows, good looking balances and everything. Very, very nice. And okay. behind the, or behind, in front of the pantry, it's this awesome entertainment center. Nice. Storage right there. Nice TV. Furion sound system. And an in a flame fireplace. What's awesome about that fireplace is it does produce heat from electricity. And then across from the TV is these prime theater seats. There right you here. go. Here we go now. Got cup holders here, here, and here. Okay. A little bit of storage right there. Nice. Not bad at all. 
Very nice. My legs kick out. I got the storage right here. You have USB here. Yes. Yes. Just cool. Fit, just, just superb. You know what I'm saying? I hear you. Nice windows all the way around. TV hookup and everything. This is super nice. And then kind of catty corner from where the TV is. It's another seating area. It's the sofa. Yep. So above that, we got storage here. Okay. And then above that, we got storage here. Nice. Nice trifle. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I've got my little quarter zip right there. Uh, very nice. And also something else to point out, that this does come out to make a bed. And even though I'm not looking, like, it's fine with that, looking at the TV. Yeah. This is a nice viewing angle. It is, and you can tilt the TV if need be. Yeah, definitely. Well, well, do you know what time it is? It's, it's now, now time, time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. Ready for this? Yeah. MSRP on this unit here, Sir William, is $58,136. That's it. MSRP. Sale price, Miss Jen. Bing! Please put the sale price right there for everybody who's watching on television. And, well, I don't care what that sale price says. I know we can get everybody a lot better sale price than that. All you got to do is go to generalrv.com slash Cash. I've conveniently linked that down in the YouTube description below. Or you can get there from our website, matsrvreviews.com. Or you can call 844-969-4033. Please reach out to us any way you can, Will. Our team is here. To help people get one thing and one thing only. And that is... The best price in America. Burr, 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 burr. Will, it's time to stay in that shower, All sir. All right. Come on, Sir William. Nice window right there. What a beautiful looking day outside. Yeah, a beautiful day. Oh, man, where'd you go? There right you here. are. Plenty of width in here. Depth is pretty good. Not crazy about the shower curtain, but again, at this price point, I get it. Um, the headlight in here is actually really good in this skylight spot, too. Um, it's not a full skylight. I wish they would do that, but it still passes. That's shower test seal of approval. Sure is. Right over here, Will. We got a ton of storage right here. Cool. Ton of storage right there. Sit right here. We got a nice porcelain toilet. Nice. Well, I'm very close. I'm very tight. Yeah. I should be failing this. But the fact of the matter is it's porcelain. And the fact of the matter is they did angle it to optimize the best position of it. Right. And truthfully, I'm not touching. I'm very close. Okay. But this is a prime poop position. Bing! There but again, a little prime poop position. We have a nice sink right here. Storage underneath the sink. Okay. Very nice. A mirrored medicine cabinet. Oh, we liquefied our brand of RV toilet tank treatment. Guys, we now have the new powder. If you guys are fans of, um, like, Happy Camper and you prefer the powder setup, you can now there get this go. on Amazon. Hopefully, anyway. Amazon's been a pain in my butt. Amazon, well, has been a pain in our butt, hasn't sure it? Sure has. Thank you to everybody for the support of purchasing Liquify. And we got some big things coming in the works. We do. It might be started already by the time this video is out. Uh, I don't think so. You don't think so? I don't think so. But I will tell everybody, we're going to be giving away about 10,000 bottles of Liquify for free. We are. 10,000. 10,000 bottles. You're going to have to stick around and subscribe to the show to figure out how. There you go. Will. I was not expecting this. I know. I love this bedroom. King size bed on a slide out. Mm -hmm. Look at all the space that I got. Tons of space all the way around. Wow. You got some storage above here. Okay. Check that out. Check that out. Nice. Open that. Size is a little tighter. Storage there. Whoops. Sorry. Hey. My hand slipped. Well, you gotta stop slamming stuff. Right? Yeah. <laughs> right there, we do got nice uh, storage there. Nice closet space here. And for those of you who don't and understand here that joke, with washer and dryer, tell prep. everybody to joke about it. Will just you tend to slam things around I more. Tend, that's why. Yeah. Yep. Stackable washer and dryer in here is awesome. Really? Yep. Wow. 
Not only that, another door. Yes, I love that too. Did we even call that out on the outside? I think we might have forgot. Careful. I don't like that. Oh, the black steps. Womp womp. Well, well, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time to give you three things that we love about this unit. Three things that we don't like about it. Well, what do we do first? You want to do three things we dislike first? First? Yeah. First, mine's going to be outside. I do not like how it doesn't have the pass-through storage up front. There's no outside storage, right? Oh, was it none? All, all... Wow. That is dislike number one. Will, what's dislike number two? I'm going to combo two things. I don't like that there's no awning over this door. Okay. And I don't like the black steps with that. The black fold-up steps are the cheapest and worst steps. They are. It's kind of okay because they do give you solid steps right here. But I wish they did the aluminum, the exactly. better steps still. Exactly. That's number two. And then number three, well, I'm going to combo it as well. I'm not a huge fan of this table and chairs. <clears throat> Honestly, that shouldn't be a dislike. You want a dinette instead? Correct. A booth dinette or yep. an office. And this hookup right here. Yeah. To get this in and out. It's the dumbest place I've ever seen. That's not valid of its own dislike. That's why I combo. Yeah, there you go. But again, other than that, fantastic unit. That's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about it. May I go first? Sure. I'm going to say this front kitchen. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Plenty of space. Tons of flowometry in here. Plenty of countertop, plenty of storage. That is something that I truthfully love about this unit. That is number one. Well, number two? Number two for me has to be that bedroom. Talk to so me. So much room back there. King size bed in a travel trailer. <laughs> On a slide out, so you have plenty of space. And it even has washer and dryer prep. And then number three, Will? This? Yes. Yep. Show me. Huge pantry space. I love how they, you know, took some space that might have been wasted and really put some good use to it because this floor plan definitely needs a pantry. Bam. Bada bing, bada boom, Will. Bam, That's it. Quick. This is one of the best units I've ever seen because it was super easy for me to identify my likes and dislikes. There you go. But, well, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in this Springdale or any Springdale, please go to generalrv.com slash Matt's Cash. We've linked it down in the YouTube description below. You guys can get there from mattsrvreviews.com or call 844-969-4033. Please reach out to us. A member of our team will reach out to you. They'll get you one thing and one thing only, and that is... The best price in America. Burr, burr, burr. Well... Guys, thank you all so much for watching. This is a phenomenal unit, and I love how open um, and airy this floor plan feels like. Make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like, three things you dislike about it. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely everybody yes, so much for you. watching, and we'll, we'll, we'll see you next time.